we're still top of the league and looking odds on for promotion. So let's switch our attention to Ebb's Fleet and the first round proper in today's episode of Walks to the FA Cup. Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we've got episode number 19 of the Kingsland Walks to Prem save here on Football Manager 2020. And yep guys, no league action today. Instead, we are in the FA Cup. We're against Ebbsfleet from the league above. We're at home, which makes me feel confident. But what makes me feel even more confident... Yeah, people, is this? Look at that. Look at the beautifulness that is all them green ticks. We have won seven out of our last ten games. It's been beautiful. It's been so much fun to play once again. This was the first game since you was last with me for the Tamworth one. We beat Atherton Collieries 2-0 in the FA Cup. If we just have a look at the match stats, we absolutely dominated it. We went full strength. We ended up having 23 shots to their three, 62% of possession to their 38. And so, yeah, th that possession stat is really looking good this season. It's been at, at least 57%, I think, for most games. And South Shields, we beat them 3-0. Mario Mbala, Whitaker with the goals. Whitaker, I bought him in the summer, but I forgot about him because he got put in the under-23s. But my assistant manager said, Oi, Spen, bad jokes, have a, look at, have a look at this guy. He's doing very, very well for the under-23s. And indeed he was. 18 goals in 10 games. Absolutely phenomenal. And since we've had him, he scored 4 goals and got 1 assist from 6 substitute appearances. The man is absolutely bossing it. He is looking brilliant. And then after that South Shields game, we played Nunny and Borough. That was another 3-0 win. 56% of possession in that game. 13 shots to their 10. Mundell with the, with the first goal. Adam Marriott with the other two. And Adam Marriott, get ready for this people. 28 goals in 26 appearances. I think if the man stays fit, he can get 50 goals this season easily. He is absolutely bossing it. He's had like three or four hat-tricks this season. And so, yeah, the, the man is finally playing how he's playing in real life. And it is so good to see it after two seasons. And then, following that one, we had a back and forth game against Southport. We took the lead in the 13th minute through Adam Marriott. George Newell equalised for us. We then made it 2-1. Wood equalised for them to make it 2-2. And then I took Mundell off and I threw Whitaker on and we went two up top. And that really made a difference. And Whitaker was able to get us a late, late winner to extend our lead at the top of the league. At that point, I think we were six or seven points clear. So it was looking very, very good. Then we went back to FA Cup action. We played against Chorley and it was a very comfortable performance. Again, went full strength in the cup. I want to try and get as far as possible in it this year. See if we can maybe get to the third round, get a Premiership team down here. That would be very, very nice. And yeah, how much possession did we have against Chorley? I think it was quite a lot. 59%. So yeah, we bossed possession in that game. They had a few players booked. We had 21 shots to their 16. 9 on target to their 7. So yeah, we very, very much deserved to win that game of football. And then this one. 4-4 against Colville, who are 23rd in the league. No idea what happened there. We scored quite early on. David Mbala scored in the second minute. Mundell made it 2-0 in the eighth minute. And so the missus had I'm a Celebrity on. So I was sort of flicking between the two. And, you know, when I, when I got back, it was 2-2 again. 
I was like, what on earth has happened here? And then we went, fought, went, speak, Spencer, words. We went 3 2 up and then 4 2 up. But they again got it back. I don't know how they got it back twice from two goals down, but they did. And then Joel Batchelor got sent off in injury time, but it was too late for us to do anything about it. So that was a very disappointing performance. But what caused it is that we had to we had to take off our two best central defenders. They were looking quite knackered before the game. So instead, I put in Dan Bowery and Tavares, who have both been moaning about not getting game time. So I threw them in, and now they, and now they wonder why they're not getting game time. So, yeah, that sort of proves it, and I've tried not to put them in the team anymore since then. And Brackley, 2-0 win. Very nice performance. Terrell Whitaker and Adam Marriott with the late goals. Whitaker again came on for Mundell. We went 4 4 2. That opened up Brackley and we got a nice couple of late goals to extend our unbeaten run. And then two games after that, two draws. Spennymore first up 1 1. They got an equaliser in the 93rd minute. I was so gutted because I think if we'd have won that, we would have gone eight points clear or something like that, but was not to be as well as it was against Murtha. Free, free game there. How much possession did we have in that one? 54%, so a little bit less. So that maybe explains why they was able to equalise and to stay with us in the game. But then after that, we had a 3-0 win against Barrow. Mundell, Marriott, Whitaker with the goals to wrap up a very nice performance. Marriott missed a penalty as well. And he missed a golden opportunity. So he could have had yet another hat-trick. But as it was, he got the one goal. And that was enough to help us towards a 3-0 win. We had 14 shots in that game and 59% of the possession. So you can see how the sort of passing tactic is really, really working well for us. And that all leads us up to today and the game against Ebbsfleet in the FA Cup. I've rambled on long enough about results. Let's go and get into the game. This is the team for today's game. We've got Barnes in goal. Wilson is our left-sided wing-back. Wiggett and Smith are in the centre of defence. Richards is a full-back on the right-hand side. Westlake is coming in for Mbala. Mbala's got a knock for the next two to three weeks. So Westlake is coming in. He's a youngster from our under-23s. And he's the only player in the club who can play on the left side of midfield. So he's in until Mbala returns. And then in the middle of the pitch, we've got Diaz Wright, who's on an 8.54 for his last five games. Alongside Simmons, who's on a 7.54 for his last five games. So them two are absolutely crushing it in the middle of midfield. They're part of the reason why Marriott is getting so many goals. So they keep their place in the team. Seckleford comes in on the right hand side. Brown has got a little bit of a knock as well. So Seckleford comes in for him. We'll see how he can do against a team from the league above. Hopefully he can do okay. And then up top, as ever, it's Romain Mundell as an attacking midfielder on attack. Just behind Marriott, who is a poacher on attack. Oh, interesting. We're the favourites. Wouldn't really have expected that. Because Ebbsfleet are doing alright in their league, from what I know. Yeah, they're 8th in the league above. So why we're the favourites, I'm not quite sure. But I will take it. And hopefully the bookies once again are right. We're in the dressing room now. Let's do the team talk. I'm going to go passionate. Come on lads, show me what you can do to keep our run going. No reaction. That's not good. Only one defender is happy. Couple of midfielders. And Adam Marriott is happy. Okay. And so, let's go. Predictions. Uh, oh, sorry about that. 2-0. Uh, 2-0 or something. Come on, you Linux.
First highlight of the game, and it's then with a free kick, and Josh Umaratz curls it way too much past the post, and it goes out for a goal kick. Our first highlight of the game now, Marriott with the corner, and Smith with the header, and he's had two attempts at it, and he's missed them both. We've got another corner though, come on right, to curl it in, and it goes on to Marriott's head, and it's just gone wide again, it was headed out by a defender actually. So it's another corner ball. Who's taking this one? Right, once again. And again he crosses it in and Leg punches it away. Goes to Simmons. Anderson heads it away. Simmons is, oh I thought he took it off the man there. But he did not. 22 minutes gone. It's Seckleford with the ball. Goes to right. Back to Seckleford. To right, just crossing over the halfway line. He goes over the top and Marriott's in. Marriott is in. And he's... Oh, how did he not give us the lead there? 44 minutes gone. We've got a corner ball. Wilson with the outswinging corner. Harris heads it away. Only goes as far as Wiggett. Can he find someone to give it to? He does. Circleford takes a shot on. It hits somebody and goes back out. And that ends that. And that is the half-time whistle, people. It is still nil-nil in this game. But... We've dominated it. We have bossed it once again against a higher place team. And we are now on 11 shots, 2 their 5, 6 on target, 2 their 3. And 59% of the possession. So very, very happy with that. All we need to do now is get a goal. And so I've said to the lads, just go back out there and get a goal that will give us the win. And there's a lot more to come from you, there's a lot more to come from you. Not many of them are motivated. That's not a good sign. Oh, immediately at the start of the second half, 50 seconds in, Richards with the ball to Simmons. And he goes long and Marriott's offside here, surely. Oh, not now he's not. Not now he's not, but he's had a shot. And their keeper has pushed it out for a corner ball. 25 minutes left to go in the game. We're going 4-4-2. Whitaker coming on for Mundell. Possibly think about bringing on Estrada for maybe one of the midfielders in a minute. See how we get on for the next five or ten minutes or so. And we've gone attacking as well to try and force a result tonight. Okay, so 15 minutes left now. Still nil-nil. We're going for more direct passing. We're going shoot on sight. And we're going to distribute the ball over the opposition defence. With a higher defensive line and a higher line of engagement. Just hopefully try and nick a winner in this last 15 minutes. 10 minutes left. Our man Barnes with the free kick. But they win it back. Umura now just coming into our half. Plays it through and Egan's in. Oh no, oh no. I've cocked up here. I've cocked up here. No, I haven't. Barnes with the save. And it goes over the bar. Oh, I may have made a mistake going for the higher defensive line, people. Come on, just take this corner already. Price does. And we get it away. The price is not right there. And now Egan, back to Price. And Egan is on the edge of the box. Price with it. Come on, let's win it back. Southern hails and nothing happens there. Oh, okay. That's the end of the game. Nil-nil. Little bit disappointed after how dominant we was in the first half. Let's have a look at the match stats. We had 15 shots with 10 on target. Two there, 8 with 5 on target. How we didn't get a goal, I don't know. And we had only 52% of the possession. Mm. Okay. So that's a little bit disappointing. Uh, let's go into the team talk. And let's go, I'm not happy with your performance out there. And yet most of them are fired up. Alright guys, what we're going to do is I'm going to play the Gateshead game off camera. And then we'll come back for the replay in the FA Cup against Ebb's Fleet. So I think that sounds good. I want to get the FA Cup done and dusted today. So I'll be back with you guys in just a second for that replay against Ebb's Fleet. See you in a second. Alright guys, we're back. And well, that Gateshead game, a little bit more stressful than I would have liked. They went 2-0 up. We got it back to 2-2. They went 3-2 up. 
But then, thankfully, the youngster, Ronnie Westlake, got us an equaliser with 18 minutes left. We pushed forward. Both teams had a couple of chances to win it. But it finished free all. And so, that means that on the league table, we are one point clear. Not as far away as I would have liked us to be. But we're still top of the league. That is a good thing. And now let's go into the team for today's game. Not that many changes. We've got Barnes in goal still. Wilson, Wiggett, Smith, Richards stay in the defence. Mbala is the only change of the game. He comes in for Westlake because he's David Mbala and he's different class. And everyone else is the same as the last game. Wright, Simmons, Seckleford in the midfield. Mundell and Marriott up top. Marriott in that game did get his 29th and 30th goals of the season. And we're only in November. So, yep, phenomenal return from him. Let's go. Let's go beat Ebbsfleet and get into the second round. Where the winner will be playing against Lincoln. In the second round, away from home. So, decent draw that for whoever wins this game. We're in the dressing room. What shall I say? I'm going to go... Come on, lads, show me what you can do. A couple of them are motivated. And now, what about all the rest? Can we get everyone motivated? Not quite, but we've got the majority. I will take that. And prediction for this one. 1-0 one us is what I'm thinking. First highlight of the game from the kickoff, it's gone all the way back to our keeper Barnes. He goes out wide to Wilson. Is he going to play it to a teammate? Yes, he does. We're keeping it nicely in the early going here. Wiggett's tried to play it long. It's hit there, man. And now, oh, no, 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 no. He's hit the post. And oh, oh, my days, we survive. But how that close it was to going in. 15 minutes gone now, Seckleford with the ball for us, back to Richards, to Simmons, to Wright in our own half, Simmons on the halfway line, Wright goes over the top and Marriott's in, and Marriott goes for the shot but it's saved, and it's cleared out for a corner ball, what can we do from this corner, it's gonna be my man Mbala to take it, he crosses it in, and Evans heads away, goes to Wiggett, in to right, to Simmons. To right again. And Simmons. To Seckleford. And Mbala. Can he get the ball into the box? No, he can't. Instead, he just walks and almost gives it away, but wins it back. Right. Come on, get it to Mbala. Come on, Simmons. Seckleford. And now we need someone to make a move here. Seckleford goes for the cross Turn, turn shot and that was awful Ooh, immediately after Mbala with a free kick Marriott's in space but it's gone to right but he's offside Diaz right is offside there but it was a very nicely taken effort here we go Diaz right took it on the volley but he was a little tiny bit offside half an hour gone Goddard with a cross Wilson heads it out but only as far as Egan to Southern Hales Egan on the edge of the box. Hales is in space if he can find him. He does. We need someone to close him down. Hales is in the box. He's gone for the cross. Richards gets it away. But only as far as Anderson. And Ebbsfleet have the lead. Oh, we're not playing well today. I don't know what's going on with us. We just don't seem to be at the races. Let's have another look at this replay. Hales with it. He ran into the box. The ball found its way to Anderson. And his first time volley was a very nice effort. 33 minutes now. Leg has got the ball in his own box. Taking his sweet time. He goes long. And we win it back. Wiggett to Wilson. Wilson with the ball to Wiggett. And long ball there. Marriott is running onto this. Can he get his 31st of the season? Oh, of course he can. Yes. Adam Marriott drags us level. And that is a goal we've been scoring a lot of this season. Long ball over the top. Catching the opposition unaware. Because they're used to us playing the short ball. 
and Marriott on the edge, on the shoulder of the last defender. And yes, very, very nice goal there. Oh, five minutes left to half time. Price with a free kick, but that curls over the top. And that is half time, people. They've had six shots to our nine, three on target to our five. So by the stats, you would say we've been the better team, but I'm not feeling it. And we've had 60% of the ball. I just don't feel it. I think there's something wrong with the team today. Can't put my finger on it. But hopefully we can nick a goal in the second half and hold on for the win. I'm going to go. We've been the better team here. I'm going to lie to them. A few of them are motivated. So 45 minutes left to go. It's then with a free kick. Price goes short to Ben Kemis. And oh, I thought that was going to curl into the back of the net. Our oh, Ebbs Fleet, they are all over us at the minute. Harris with the header. It's hit the bar. We've cleared it. And now, can we do anything on the counter? No, we've got a free kick anyway because it was offside. Okay, guys, we've got 20 odd minutes left. We're going 4 4 2. Whitaker on for Mundell. And Fitchett is replacing Sheckleford, who's not really been at the races today. So, yep, 20 minutes left. Let's go and win this. 10 minutes left now. Nothing else has happened. And so we're going more direct passing and shoot on sight. Just for any hope of getting a winner here. Oh, is this going to be it? Mbala with a free kick. It goes to Wicket and that was the chance. That was the chance, wasn't it? Glorious opportunity goes begging. And now five minutes left. Ebbs Fleet now with a throw in deep in our half. They cross it in. They've had a shot, but it's hit our defender. And now Mbala, what can he do on the counter? Absolutely sod all is the answer to that question. Oh, extra time. We are going to. It's still 1-1. 14 shots they've had to our 11. We've had 53% of the possession. And well, who's going to win it now? Who is going to win it now? Let's go assertive. It's time for everyone to dig in and give everything you've got left. Most of them have got confidence. That's good to see. Please don't go penalties. Please don't go penalties. First highlight of the extra time. Uma has got the ball into the box. And he's given Ebsleet the lead. Oh, that's not good. That is not good, human beings. 98 minutes gone. It's them with a throw in. Hales throws it long. And they win it. Winter with the ball. Goes wide to Anthony. And Egan is in. Oh, he's going to make it free, isn't he? Egan has got a glorious chance here to wrap the game up. But our defender there. Who's that getting back? It's Wilson. And now he's gone long. And Marriott. Can he find a teammate? Come on, find somebody. We go back to Wilson. And now another long ball. And Marriott. What a long one too that is. But it might work. And Marriott with the shot is blocked. Mbala, Mbala, can he get into the box? He shoots and it's saved. Oh, we're still trying. We are still in this game, people. Come on. Mbala with the cross and that's way too easy for leg to catch. Ah, oh, half time in extra time. We are 2-1 down. We've gone very attacking. And can we make any more subs? We've only used two, so... Westlake for Mbala maybe? But do I do I want to take Mbala off in case we have penalties? Oh, this is a gamble. This could go wrong. Westlake is coming on for Mbala. Okay, just a few minutes left. We're going for it. Much higher defensive line, much higher engagement. Take long kicks, counter press, counter. And yeah. Extremely direct passing, extremely high tempo. I've got no more ideas. Let's go for it. Ah, Rolos. Rolos, Rolos, Rolos. Oh, well. We hung with a team from the league above us for more than 180 minutes. That's the positive I'm going to take from these two games. In this one, they had 18 shots to our 21 10 on target for us, 2 there, 6, and 51% of the possession. So, 
very, very even games. And so let's go into dressing room. Tell the boys they was unlucky. Um, where's that option? Yeah, just one of those days. And yep, everyone's relaxed and motivated. And that, guys, is where we're going to leave it for today. If you've enjoyed that video, please give it a massive thumbs up down below. Every like really does help the channel out. So please do pop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new for more Football Manager 2020 content. Follow me on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming. Check out the Passion for FM website. Check out the Discord, the Twitter, the Facebook page. All of that fun stuff. Check all that out. The details are down below. And yeah guys, I shall see you tomorrow for the next episode of Walks to Prem. Bye.